Hello guys and welcome back. Today is gonna be exciting lesson number four. Today I want to show you how I would create a pick and place, very simple pick and place, so we can use what we learned so far and what I was showing you. So let's start, let's get on it. I'm very excited to do that. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna insert move J. This is gonna be how we gonna get so let's talk a little bit about our scenario so what we're gonna try to do in the end is we're gonna try to pick up an item from the left side and move it 180 degree and place it to the right side so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna insert a move and then we're gonna go into the waypoint we're gonna go into the command and we're gonna set the first point So here, you guys can move the robot in the easiest way you guys can see it. You can move it this way. The way I'm going to do it, I'm going to move it this way. And to be able to see where we are moving, I'm going to start with the base. So minus 90 degree. This means if we want to move just 90 degrees, it's going to be... right around zero we're gonna go up actually we're gonna go up first so if you guys remember what's about minus 91 degree we're gonna go up then we're gonna add another waypoint which is gonna be at zero degree now here we're gonna be on top of our piece now if you guys remember from the last time we have to use different move statement which is gonna be linear motion because we want it to be precise and just go straight down to pick up our place. Okay, so if you guys imagine that's where our place is and now what we want to do is we're going to go back to the same position well the previous position was waypoint 2 so what we're going to do we're just going to copy that now what we have to do since we are still at waypoint 3 we have to come here and move our robot to the new position the way to do that is just hold the button and the robot will automatically move Next, we want to insert another move statement. Move J, going to the other side. To set this point, if you guys remember, we have to move all the way to the other side. Actually, we're going to move this way. So that's going to be minus 180 degree. almost there and now here we're gonna set this point and then we will need another move statement this time move L you guys remember we need precise movement going down you can turn it so you can see it better now we're gonna go down and place our piece okay now you guys remember we need to copy the point because we want to go go back to the same point 
so we we'll just copy that point and paste it under waypoint number five and then from here we want our robot to go back to waypoint one Okay, let's see how this will play. So if you guys can see, we have our robot. If we wanted to move the robot to be in the first position, what we have to do is we have to come here and just hold it. That's going to be the robot original position. To simulate the process, we go to a graphic. and then simulation and then we're gonna play the program from the beginning so we're gonna come here pick it up move it around and place it to the other side and very clearly guys you can see here the difference between move L and move J move L is straight line we are going straight down while move J is just going around as fast as the robot can to get to the place. Now I will give you a little bonus here about blend radius. So here we can add some blend radius right here, which is going to be waypoint 4 and waypoint number 5. So it's actually waypoint number two. And waypoint number four right here. So to do that, the reason to do that sometimes is to save us some time. The way to do it is we can come here and by default is 50, but we can do it a little more, like 75. Let's do the same here. And like you can see, right here is our blend radius. So on the way back, instead of stopping, we're going to save some time and just going around it. Let's see how this will play. If you guys can see, it's going in straight, so we are careful. But then on the way back, it's just blending. Also, once you guys are done, I will show you how to save the program. Simply go right here in save. Save all. Just let's say pick and place. Now the name changed, so now we are saved. Today we learn about different ways for us to move, how to copy and paste some points so we can create our program. Also, we learn about the blend radius and why we're going to use it. And tomorrow I want to continue building on this program and show you when we have a gripper, how to set the gripper to grab the piece, set it on and off to lift the piece. And also we will learn about the weight command. So I'm excited to show you that tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching and taking the time. Please share that with your friends and subscribe if you didn't subscribe yet. And I will see you tomorrow.